Food Network South Beach Wine and Food Festival really started with a really fantastic one-day experience on the grounds of the university known as the Florida Extravaganza. And if you know our grand tasting as it is today on the beach, imagine that it was like a mi little mini grand tasting. So I think what we did was to take what had been developed and grow it into one of the nation's largest and most important wine and food events that benefits the students and the university. The FIU connection here is really is really deep. I mean, we do this this festival every year for the sole purpose of raising money for the hospitality school and for FIU. So we're all proud Golden Panthers. Everyone who works in this festival has an intern working with them, whether it's marketing, whether it's logistics, whether it's accounting, PR. We have students supporting our staff in every single aspect of the festival. And I will tell you that a lot of the people who now work for us here full time at the festival are FIU grads. So I think that's incredibly exciting. It just, if you look at every ticket available, Lauren, and I don't want you to spend your time, but if you took every ticket available, I don't even know that we have a million four left to sell. Lauren, can you look at last year's total revenue that we got from Grand Tasting Saturday and Sunday? That's the end, yeah. This year, and then you'll see how much yeah. we have left. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely the answer. In our office, um, full time, we have about 15 or 16 people. Um, and then that grows to our committee um, that is probably between 65 and 85 people. Um, we have our big meeting tomorrow at FIU. I've connected with all the chefs um, <laughs> regarding logistics and their needs, equipment, et cetera, et cetera, except for Cindy. She's traveling, right. so everybody else seems to be home. Great. All the players will come out and start at the driving range and uh, Jose will welcome everybody along with the other celebrities that we have. Uh, we are doing uh, two events at Turnberry Isle. Um, on Friday um, of the festival we're doing a Celebrity Chef golf tournament. Just let me know on the uh, holes, which different holes have the different restaurants so we can just make sure that we set everything up. And we're doing a, a dinner on Thursday night um, with Michael Mina and Mark Forgione. Last year we had a reception desk just outside the doors. Right. The first thing they see as they come in mm -hmm. and as they come into uh, the restaurant they'll be greeted with some butler pasta wines from Farniente mm -hmm. and our host team will guide them into the lounge area for the reception. A lot of people um, seem to think that we're really only working on this festival you know a couple of months before it actually starts and we work year-round. In the last month, right before um, the festival, my biggest roles right now is really making sure that all of the product um, for the individual events is pulled from our warehouse um, and staged correctly according to the delivery. What we're doing here is such an integral part of the festival because it's the you know South Beach Wine and Food Festival, so we get it delivered here. And then from there, we take the product and we place it on pallets for each of the respective events. And then we label it and get it ready to be delivered. Okay, well, we're really excited that you're all here. We've got a lot to cover. Does everybody know that we're on the sand, physically on the sand? Does everybody know that you're going to be working in the sun? And anybody have sun allergies? Really important that you, we know this in advance. Parking. So we do have a shuttle bus. Not that it's going from MMC to BBC, but it is leaving from BBC to the actual event. So if you're on that shuttle bus, I'm going to have a list up here. So you guys can come up to me and just basically put your information in. very unique because in a sense we get to work for the, one of the biggest events in the world. This is the biggest wine and food festival in the country. So this is solely a, an opportunity that only FIU students can get and it's really something that all FIU students need to take advantage of. When I decided to go to FIU for my master's degree after I had gotten my undergraduate, I did it specifically so I could intern for the festival. I finished my master's degree in two years and then I became a full-time employee. What excites me still is seeing the students 
looking at their commitment and their passion towards what we're doing, and that's what keeps me going, and hopefully what excites a lot of the students and interns and uh, faculty who work alongside of us. This is it. We're here the day before we get started on the sand. It's our last full committee walkthrough where we come through and see the full site. Three city blocks from 10th to 13th. We got a lot of sponsor installations happening and a lot of finishing touches and we're excited for the festival to start tomorrow.